Good evening, chaps, and congratulations on a great win um, in the FA Cup and, and reaching the FA Cup's second round, the first non-league club to do so this season. What an incredible night of football. Yeah, I think it was brilliant for everyone at the club, wasn't it, really? Um, couldn't have wrote it any better. Um, obviously, once the draw came out, we was delighted to be at home. <clears throat> and then when it was a club of Huddersfield, it was like magnitude, it was like, wow. Uh, then the TV bit, the whole thing's built up. Uh, we've trained this week once because of the part-time bit. Um, Shamps and Tim have put a plan together how they play after watching videos, etc. And I think it worked perfectly. Shamps, uh, there were some really difficult moments in that game. You would have expected there to be, given the level of our position. Uh, a few moments where hearts were in mouths, etc. But the lads absolutely earned that victory tonight. Yeah, and I thought that were good value. To be fair, you know, obviously they're two leagues above, but I thought we were magnificent. Um, there was there were some moments, but I think we had our own moments as well, where we, you know, we could have scored. I'm thinking of Creenies in the first half, we had a free at the second half, so we had some good chances too. And I just thought we were, you know, we matched them all over. I spoke there, Gaffer spoke to us at the end, and he was very complimentary, really nice man. Um, and he, you know, he said we deserved it. You know, you speak to Ash Williams after the game, Dion Dublin. You know, they all said, you know, we were in it and we frustrated them and we were hard to beat. And everything that we asked them to be on Wednesday, you know, they put into into practice and it's worked. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And tonight it's it's worked absolutely brilliantly. So we are chuffed. Yeah, absolutely over the moon. Andy, uh, it's been well publicised that you cancelled your trip away to Bridge North this week and. Um... Well, has she forgiven you yet? Given the result now? Yeah, she was, of course she is. It was never, <clears throat> it was never a question really. She knows football comes first. She got that completely. Yeah. Uh, we'll make it up another time. She was here tonight. She'll be as happy as anyone because that's what families are like. So yes, yeah, she was pleased. It was always going to have to be the case, <clears throat> and it's been worth it. Um, but like Shem said, I thought the balls were brilliant. I, I don't think there was many scary moments. I thought there'd be a lot more. I thought they managed the game really, really well. And like you just said, we've spoke to some top players in Dion and Ash Williams and people like that and their gaffer, and they've all been so complimentary, and that wasn't undeserved. Um, so we're delighted from the whole team. It was absolutely magnificent. I just want to pause and reflect, really, and it's great to have you both in front of me. Um, it's your third full season in charge now. First season was stability in the Southern League, then back-to-back -back promotions, now 16th in the National League after 16 games, which is... Miraculous, really. Um, and now, second round of the FA Cup. Is, is this some kind of a dream? I think tonight epitomises everything me and Champs all try and bring to a club, and that is everyone in it together, whether it be top to bottom. Uh, we try and create an atmosphere where people want to be, um, players want to be, players work even harder for you, um, supporters, we you try and you, you know, like mingle in it. We want everyone to be in it together, and that's what we've created, and you have to have that to get the success we've had with. You know, the limitations we've got within, so, you know, like the, the training, etc., and the part-time bit. You need everyone singing off the same hymn sheet, and I think we've created that. So we've done it at other clubs, and that's what we're going to do here. And I think what we've achieved is, is because of that. They're looking great. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a siege mentality almost, isn't it? We're, we are up against it in this league, and we've we've had a couple of really good seasons before that. Um, but I think what we're doing this year, you know, compounded with tonight as well, is is quite miraculous really you know we've, we're working against full-time teams pretty much every week um, we have an hour and a half on a Thursday night to try and you know to try and work out how we're going to beat the team at the weekend and if it's a Tuesday night we don't get any time we, we spoke about it the other day I think we played um, we played Yeovil on the Tuesday and obviously they, they trained all Monday they would have done an hour's analysis then they would have gone on the field and trained and worked on how they can beat us you know, we didn't. We don't get that. We we work on a tactics board for about five minutes before the game. This is what we want us to do a little bit. Um, but as a gaff has just alluded to, you know, the the boys have listened. They're all in it together. They're all on board. Uh, and sometimes when you've got that togetherness, that's better than you know being so tactically inept all of the time. Um, sometimes that work rate and that desire. I think I think their gaffer it. just nailed it to me. He said, "You absolutely work your socks off. Every one of them work their socks off, and that's all. That's what we are sort of yeah. organised. Working your socks off, being good at set pieces, working out for first and second balls, and that, that stands you in good stead. And, and if tonight we'd have done that, and they were just so much better, then you you, you, you take that off to them, don't you? Yeah, you do. It was evident out there that, as you say, everybody worked so so hard on that, and, and totally deserved it. Um, it was um, a joy to commentate through and I think what hit me was the fact that you just alluded to it, uh, Shamps, that we're a National League team but we're a part-time National League team. There's National League teams and there's National League teams but for us to be where we are in the League A and B, actually now looking at to be 
well, who knows who will draw in the second round of the FA Cup. But like I said, it all feels a bit surreal, a bit of a dream. And it's important the fans do get brought back down and realise the limitations that you guys face week in, week out. I think I think most do know that because we, we sort of say it quite often. I think most people know what we're at. Obviously, some get a bit carried away. Um, but all we can do is what we do. Um, like I said, we know we knew the remit we went into the league. We knew the, how much training we are going to be at. We knew the teams were going to be able to prepare better. And we've just acquitted ourselves with the best players we can get and who work hard for the, for the resources we've got. And I think that's what we'll always continue to do, won't we? Well, resources are needed because we've got a lot of games this season. And actually, looking ahead to Tuesday now is the first game for us in the National League Cup against National, uh, Newcastle United. Um, just trying to gauge your thoughts on the, on the competition being a new competition this season. I haven't even thought about I'm it. Not thought about it. <laughs> so we've, got, we've got to enjoy I'll tell you tonight. what, I'm going to enjoy tonight, and then we'll worry about that maybe t- you know Sunday. We'll yeah. probably speak on. Well, the one thing I'll say is we've got a group, and not all of them have took part tonight, but we've got a group that'll always put yeah. put their bodies on the line. So it doesn't matter who plays within that group. Obviously, we'll mix it up for that cup because you have to. The league is their priority, and that even includes the FA Cup. I've said that from day one because come May, people won't worry about tonight. They'll worry about where we finish in that league, not the National League Cup, nothing like that. It'll be about where we finish. And our remit is to maintain our status. So we'll look at it. We are going to enjoy tonight. We're going to enjoy the night, Sunday, and the draw, etc. And then one thing I can guarantee is we'll put a team out Tuesday and some will be playing. There'll be some changes. But the boys coming in will want to get into our team. So they'll all work the socks off. Yeah, all, all good players as well. All, you know, good, players. all good players. Yeah, all that will play come in. Some will enjoy getting minutes because they haven't got as many as what, what they want to. But again, you know, they're, they're in it with us. They're all in it together. So it'd be nice to get them some minutes on Tuesday. They, they have to be in it together, so ready. Because even when we set, you know, Shamps and Tim set stuff up on a Thursday, and the others who are not in the eleven have to be the opposition. So we need them to play their part. Because if they don't, it's, it's, it doesn't work. And they also know that it could change at any point, and they could get in that eleven. So they're all completely in it together. Okay, that's it then, fellas. Thank you, Magic. We'll catch up with you again soon. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.